discriminant and nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Now this is a quadratic formula and these are the three possible ways in which a quadratic equation can be graphed. That means this is one situation where the graph, the parabola, will not intersect the x-axis. The second is it can intersect in two different points or the third is it can intersect at one, one point. So the, let me first start with the nature of roots. So nature of roots of a quadratic equation means in how many different ways will the quadratic equation, that means the parabola, intersect the x-axis. So well, you can, in, the, it intersects at one point, at one point, and in that case, your b squared minus 4ac is always going to be equal to zero. So this red parabola uh, models that situation that it has only one point of intersection. And in, if there's only one point of intersection with the x-axis, your delta is going to be zero. There are, in the second possibility is there are two points of intersection. I'll prove this later on. There are two points. And in this case, your b squared minus 4ac, which is delta, this is, in short, can be written by delta, which is delta, would be greater than zero. That's for the blue parabola. Your blue parabola intersects the x-axis at two different points. And finally, there are no points of intersection or no intersection. No intersection is this yellow parabola where your b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. Okay, so the greater than zero means it's positive and less than zero means it's negative. So let's understand why, if you know these facts, uh, this is a very good, uh, when you're doing com uh, complicated questions on quadratic equations. So let me explain how these formulas or these results come. So let's start with when delta is equal to zero. So the first situation is, when your delta, which is b squared minus 4ac, is equal to zero. So if you use a quadratic formula, so you can say x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of zero over 2a. This is going to be square root of zero is zero, that's minus b over 2a. So there's only one point of, there's only one solution. This implies only one solution only one root or solution, only one root, okay? And graphically, this means this red parabola, or graphically that means your parabola, your parabola intersects x-axis, intersects x-axis at only one point, at only one point. So let me give you an example to illustrate this. Okay, so an example would be x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Uh, this implies if you factorize this, I hope you know this is x minus 2, the whole squared is equal to 0, which implies x is equal to 2. So what does this mean algebraically? Algebraically means there can be only one value of x which will make this equation equal to zero. That means if you put x is equal to two in this equation, you can two minus two is zero, so zero squared is zero. So that's what it means algebraically. But graphically, suppose if you want to graph this, this is a perfect square, the parabola, let me highlight this. Your parabola would look somewhat like this. It is x minus 2, so your parabola. This, there's only one point, there's only one point, that is, there's only one value of x. So this is your x axis, and this is your y axis. So this is x is equal to 2, and I can say this point is 4. How do I know that? Because your y-intercept is going to be 4, because if you put 0 in this equation, it's going to be 4 here. And this point is, say, 
2 comma 0 there's only one value of x which makes this equation equal to 0 that means this parabola becomes 0 or the value of the parabola becomes 0 when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 4 so let me show this on a graphic calculator so, so let me delete this and type in x squared minus 4x plus 4 and then graph it. Okay, so let me change the scale, make it standard. Can you see? So this is the root. So if you type in root, there's only one value of x. Root means the value of x which satisfies the equation. Okay, and if you go g sol and y intercept, so when x is 0, your y is 4. Okay. So one more thing that would be helpful uh, is uh, that uh, you can generally get when this is a perfect square quadratic equation. If it's a perfect square quadratic equation, you'll get only one root. Quadratic equation. Okay, so let's come back, come to the next point when what would happen when x is greater than zero okay so so let me go to the next point so what happens if delta is greater than zero if delta is greater than zero means this is positive that means your x is going to be minus b plus or minus square root of a positive number square root of delta over two and square root as you you can find the square root of a positive number this implies there are two roots there are two roots or two solutions and this also means graphically two your parabola parabola intersects x-axis at two dif distinct points intersects x-axis at two distinct points at two distinct points okay so your delta has to be greater than zero so let me take an example so an example would be say 2x squared uh, minus 3x minus 5 is equal to zero Okay, so what will be your delta? Your delta is b squared minus 4ac. Your b is negative 3, so this is negative 3 squared minus 4 times a. a is 2, and your c is negative 5. So this is equal to, this is 9, and negative and negative makes positive. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40 which is 49 the delta is 49 so your x you can say x is negative b your so it's 3 plus or minus square root of 49 over 2 2 times 2 times 2 is 4 so which is 3 plus or minus 7 over 4 which is 3 plus 7 over 4 or 3 minus 7 over 4. So your x is 10 over 4. Hopefully I've not done any mistakes. So we'll confirm this graphically. Or x is equal to, this is how much? Negative 4 over 4. So this is 5 over 2. So this is 2.5. So x is 2.5 or x is equal to negative 1. So, graphically, what does this mean? Graphically, if you graph this parabola, this is again a sketch. Parabola would look, uh, your y-intercept is going to be negative 5. Okay, so I'm not interested in the vertex. So, this is, so, your, there are two points of intersection. So, one is, this is your negative 1. This is your, this is your 2.5 and your y-intercept is going to be negative 5 and your vertex is going to 
<coughs> excuse me, your vertex is going to be between negative 1 and 2.5. So let's confirm this. <coughs> so I, <coughs> excuse me. So let me graph this. So delete and type in 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. Hopefully I've not done any mistakes. So G solve the root. One root is negative 1 and the other root is 2.5. And y-intercept is y-intercept is minus five. Okay, so this is what it means to have two distinct roots. So if you have two roots, or when delta is greater than zero, you get two roots, or the two values of x, which will satisfy this equation. So in other words, two roots means when x is negative one, this is going this equation is going to be equal to zero, and when x is 2.5 this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be equal to zero. So let me finish off with the final situation when delta is less than zero. The third situation is if delta is less than zero. So delta is less than zero, that means this is a negative number. This is a negative real number. And you should know square root of a negative number is undefined if negative number is undefined in real numbers. Is undefined in real numbers. In real numbers. I'll show you this on the calculator. If you go to your run menu and if you go square root of, say, negative 5. That will give you non-real error. That means you can't find a square root of a negative number. So this implies you can say when delta is less than zero or delta is negative, there are no real roots. There are no real roots. You should not say no roots. You should say no real roots. This is very important. Now, how does that mean? What does that mean graphically? Graphically means if delta is less than zero, and if you draw the parabola, your parabola is going to be above your x-axis. It doesn't intersect the x-axis at any point. So let me give you an example to illustrate what I mean. So, so let's take x, x squared minus x plus 8 is equal to zero. Now by just looking at this parabola, of this equation, I can say your y-intercept is going to be 8. The y-intercept is going to be 8. And this parabola is going to be, is always above your x-axis. That means there is no value of x. There's no value of x, which are in real numbers, which will make this equation equal to 0. So let me show this on a calculator. Go to your graph menu and type in x squared delete. What was the equation? x squared, x squared minus x plus 8. So x squared minus x plus 8. And here we go. So this is what I meant. So this parabola is always, or the value of this equation is always going to be greater than 0. It's never going to intersect the x-axis at any point. So just show the y-intercept. Y-intercept is 0, 8. So this means, what does this mean graphically? This implies the parabola is always, the parabola is always above x-axis. It is always above x-axis. x-axis, or in other words, there are no x-intercept no x intercept. Algebraically, it means there are no values of x which will make this equation equal to zero. 